90 Day Fiance Chantel Everett has a new romantic partner. Hello lovely viewers, and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Lucy. Chantel Everett seems to have a new romantic partner. Fans are dying to know who she could be dating. She hasn't had much luck when it comes to love, especially when it was on television. However, it seems she may have had luck this time around. There is someone in her life that she seems to love. Keep reading to find out more about this. Chantel has not had much luck when it comes to love. Chantel met Pedro when she was looking for a Spanish tutor. A friend set them up. She then decided to go to the Dominican Republic to meet him. The two fell in love and Pedro ended up proposing. They got married, but it ended quickly. Pedro filed for divorce after being married for six years. It was not a civil divorce though. Both of them ended up receiving restraining orders. Chantel then met Giannis when she went to Greece for vacation. They continued their fling, but it did not go any further. She then followed the picture with another saying, she had to put them in two vases and needed a bigger one. It is unknown who sent her these flowers. However, she attached a love song to the story, which lets fans know it is more than likely a romantic partner. Chantel has been with famous people before. It was said that Drake slid into her DMs. She also had a fling with Wake of Flocka. Maybe she decided to give Drake a chance, or there is some other celebrity in her life. Fans hope to see more of this play out on 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. Who do you think sent her the roses? It seems as though Chantel has a special someone in her life. She has not disclosed if she is in a relationship or not, so there is a possibility these flowers were from a friend or family member. However, it is more likely that she has a new boyfriend. Fans cannot wait for her to share who her new beau is. Do you have any ideas as to who it could be? Sound off in the comments below. Fiance cast members furious at Lauren for escaping. 90 Day Fiance star Lauren Brovarnik continues to face issues with her co-stars, especially throughout Happily Ever After. Tell all. The 36-year-old was criticized for the modifications she had made all over her body, which she calls a mommy makeover. It even came to a point where Big Ed called her a bottom feeder online. However, Lauren reaches a new low with the cast members for seemingly escaping. Keep reading to see what happened. Many fans have questioned Lauren's desire to undergo another cosmetic procedure following her mommy makeover. The 90 Day Fiance star suggested that she get her boob done this time. However, Alexi is against it, adding that she looks great the way she is. Lauren's desire to make herself look better earned her so much criticism online. Others are also puzzled about how she keeps mentioning her battle with body dysmorphia while not taking any steps to treat herself, especially therapy. She confronted Big Ed for calling her a bottom feeder online. She ended up frustrated after Big Ed told her that she had done nothing but flaunt her perfect marriage and that the other struggling couples should follow in her footsteps. Cast members furious at Lauren for escaping. TLC recently released a clip from the latest episode of He A Tell All. It features Lauren saying goodbye to everyone. The 90 Day Fiance star explained that she has kids to care for, and they already have a flight booked. She hugged most cast members, but things got shady when she openly acknowledged that some of them were half-hugs. One was from Thais Ramon, who called her out for leaving amid all the chaos. Some cast members also questioned Lauren and Alexi's sudden departure, seemingly accusing them of escaping the crime scene because they're already happy with their marriage. Things got more intense when Lauren decided to sit down and told everyone she had five minutes to listen to all of them. As she said at the tell-all, Lauren Bravarnik has focused more on her kids. The 90 Day Fiance star recently took to social media to share their school levels. Shai is now in VBK, while Asher is in preschool. Her daughter, Ariel, is also in preschool with her brother. We're fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. So proud of the bra bunch. Back to school we go, the proud mother captioned.